The deaths of those eight IDF soldiers come as ceasefire talks continue, and Yemen's Iran-backed Houthis ramp up attacks on U.S. ships. Let's bring in retired General Jack Keane, Fox News senior strategic analyst, former Army vice chief of staff, and chairman at the Institute for the Study of War. We read, General Keane, about these uh, Houthi attacks every day, and I was frankly astounded to read that uh, this is the largest um, attack on the U.S. Navy, essentially, since World War II. Yeah, it's quite remarkable. And, you know, we're just sort of numb by the fact that these things are actually taking place. Uh, the reality is that uh, 77 cargo ships have been hit. Uh, one has been sunk, and there's another one right now uh, whose crew is off of it, and it, it's obviously taken on water. There's been 80 attacks on U.S. and our allies' warships in the region during this time frame. Fortunately, none of those have been none of those have been hit. We've had some real close calls, not the least of which was a ballistic missile that the Houthis fired at one of our destroyers that came within seconds of actually hitting the ship. It was defeated by a uh, air defense missile system on, on that ship. So obviously this is dangerous. The, the reality is they've, they've had the decided impact that they wanted. And that is they've shut down much of the container shipping, some 90 percent going through uh, the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, cargo shipping 67 percent, and the, and the tankers carrying fuel over 50 percent. That means two weeks to go around the Horn of Africa, uh, thousands and thousands of nautical miles and millions of dollars added to it. Uh, I, I can't imagine what the insurance rates are now as a result of all, all of this. Yeah. But yes, the Houthis have accomplished their mission. That, that's, that's the reality of it. And, and, and here's the frustrating part, John. I know for a fact the CENTCOM commander has wanted to do more than just fire at the Houthis who are firing at us. He wants to he wants to take a limited action against Iranians conventional military capability in Iran, namely the IRGC force, as much as Reagan did. He's recommended over 100 targets uh, to the administration. And the fact is that none of those ha have been accepted. Many of us looking at this, if you want to stop the Houthis, you have to you have to convince them Iran. You have to get deterrence back on the table and they will shut them down. Yeah, because the, the Houthis used to, you know, ride around in pickup, uh, pickup trucks shooting AK-47s. Now, all of a sudden, they've got drones and, I, you know, ICBMs of the, of the kind that uh, nearly, nearly hit one of our ships, as you pointed out. Yeah, well, they have hundreds and hundreds of drones, thousands of rockets and missiles, and as you pointed out, a, a number of ballistic missiles, to be sure. And look what they've done with Hezbollah. Hezbollah has somewhere between 130 and 150,000 rockets and missiles. Where do they come from? All of them come from Iran, just as all the rockets, missiles, and drones that the Houthi says. And remember, it was the Iranians who incentivized the Houthis to topple the regime in Yemen, which was a regime friendly to the United States and to our allies in the region. We had an embassy there that is shut down. We had a special operations base that is shut down uh, as a result of all of that. So that's the Iranians behind all of this. They are the, the conductor of the orchestra, and we failed to confront them the way we should. Why is the administration seemingly afraid to take on Iran or to at least deal out some pain? The administration still is under the misguided view that if we talk to the Iranians and work diplomatically, we can achieve some kind of breakthrough. This has been going on for almost four years now. No breakthrough. And, but this is just, ha just a few weeks ago, a member of the National Security uh, Council uh, in the White House and the State Department was conducting uh, classified briefings, clandestine in other words, uh, with the Iranians, again, to try to make some kind of a deal. Most of observers who are looking at this know full well the only way to stop the Iranians from their malign behavior is you, you have to be willing to confront them, not talk to them. 
the talking is worn out by now, and this administration, unfortunately, hasn't come to that conclusion. Retired Army General Jack Keane. General, thank you. Yeah, great talking to you, John. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.